All right, hey guys, what's going on? I'm recording this reading. I recorded this yesterday, but I'm going to be posting it today. Um, uh, my readings are timeless, so please just take what resonates and leave what does not. All right, so let's get this message out. Let's see what spirit needs us to know. Start off with advice. Oh, I'm getting this weird energy. Um, there's someone on the other side, uh, someone that passed over, right? You may have dated this person or like you were really good friends with this person or you were really close to this person. This person is trying to reach out to you because they feel like you're the only person that would understand something here. I don't know why, like maybe they're in your dreams or something. They need you now. They need you for something. So there's something about mediumship here, guys, okay? Um, if this was a lover, uh, your guys' relationship was probably a secret, probably only because maybe they dated a lot of people or they had a lot of... This person was on the scene. I'm also getting like this person was very stubborn when they were here on Earth. They didn't really believe in God or the universe or anything like that. They they were really um they were really cold, but they were your friend. It's like something about this person's energy. It's like you knew that this person was very different, okay? Um, but they need you now. You know, I feel like they need you now because I feel like you're the only friend or uh, person around them that was spiritual or able to be intuitive or something like that. Remember to practice self-love, okay, guys? So it looks like spirit is reminding you guys this, okay? Um, I'm also getting something with that basic witch, how she's wearing that basic witch shirt. Someone out here is playing with spell work. They shouldn't have been playing with it, okay? Maybe that's what this person is trying to warn you about. They're trying to warn you about something here. If it's not a passed over loved one, it could be, uh, I mean, if it's not a passed over, like, partner, it could be a family member, okay? They're trying to tell you something, but I feel like when this person was here on Earth, they were very carnal-minded and they weren't able to see something. Now they see it because they are um, walking around maybe aimlessly in the spiritual realm trying to find you, okay? Okay, so we have Octorian Light Codes, Evolutionary Downloads, Recalling Power, and Future Thinking. Yeah, I feel like also... Um, they're realizing whatever you said to them years ago, because I'm, I'm getting like, this, maybe, maybe this person passed away years ago or something like that. Um, they're realizing that you were ahead of your time or something. Um, you were trying to warn them of something and now it's uh, coming into fruition. They're trying to, they're trying to warn you about something. Because they see it clearly now. Maybe you forgot all about it, but they see it clearly. You, you, they were, they weren't able to see it clearly because they weren't in touch with the earth or something, or I, I really get this feeling of someone trying to warn someone of something. So just pay attention. Okay. Um, my last reading that I did yesterday, pay attention to your dreams. Okay. This person could be trying to reach out to you in your dreams or just like, you may see them walking around. Um, but you're not afraid of them or something, or you may remember something that they said, or remember a song may pop up. Okay. That's them. I'm also getting like if this person dated other people, you were not the only person that they dated. There's people around this. There's people. Okay. This is very, be very selective with your hearing right now because this is not for everybody. But um, this person dated somebody that's actually evil. This person is parading on the internet saying that they would miss this person. But this person was actually very evil. Okay. People may know this person as being with that person and. Um, they had a public relationship. You guys maybe had a private relationship for your own different reasons. Maybe you guys were very different people, but, um, they're trying to warn you about either this person or what the heck is going on here. They know that they can't reach out to that person. They have to reach out to the medium. Trust all that will be well. And then we have practice gratitude here. I'm also getting something about this leader energy. You're recalling back your power. Um, someone here tried to take your leadership energy. Attend to the details, push through any insecurities, talk less and feel more. Yeah, I feel like also um, this person may want to apologize. This person had a very dark uh, view about life, okay? And you were always trying to uplift them. They want to apologize to you because you were only trying to uplift them. You're only trying to help them. But let's see. So I don't know, maybe this person, um, I don't know how this person passed for some of you guys. For others of you, this person did it themselves, okay? 
because that's how down in the dumps they were. You were trying to pull them out of it. They didn't want to get pulled out of it, but now they see exactly what you were trying to tell them. They're trying to talk to you. They see that you're a leader. Okay, wow, we have lead out here as soon as I said leader. Sadness and isolation here. What's going on with this energy? We have new vitality. Something about bringing something back to life. Someone wants to lead something now. They want to be in someone's life or they want to take the first step somewhere. I feel like you guys are the leader. I feel like you guys are recalling your power back for one. Take the lead is here again. Yeah. Someone out here try to isolate you or uh, outcast you. I'm getting a lot of Aquarius energy. Yeah, coming together. Someone here wants to stop that. They want to stop the energy of isolating you or something or... They want to bring something back. Yeah, base chakra. They want to be grounded or be more in touch with the earth. Um, something about security is here. Blossom. You guys are really calling your energy back. I feel like you guys know who you are. This could be a divine masculine I'm, I'm tapping into too. Yeah, healing begins. All these are very good high vibrational cards here. Starting from the ground up or starting back to square one. Success and growth is here. Okay, clarity of belief. Yeah, something about someone's beliefs were um, different when they were here on earth. Now they see. Now they, I'm getting like this person maybe has passed away um, before, you know, the great awakening or spiritual community was trending or something like that. They didn't understand God. They didn't understand any of that. This person's a ghost. Yeah, I'm really getting like um, now they get it. They understand it. But I mean... This person is very enlightened right now. And um, I don't really do mediumship, but I can relate to this. So let's see. Clarify sadness and isolation. It doesn't necessarily have to be passed over a loved one, but it's definitely someone out here that um, they're really cold hearted or they were blocked or something here was blocked with them. I'm, getting, I'm picking up off of someone that has every... They have their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or they have their, their sun, moon, Venus, Mercury, Mars. It's all one sign. Like that's very, this person was very unique. They didn't belong here. It's like they were an alien type. You know what I mean? It's like they were different, but they were very cold. Like it is, it's very, they didn't have like a, a connection to the earth because they didn't belong here. But they're trying to, when you have all your placements in one sign, that's very intense. Like, those people are very intense people. It's like they're aliens. So I feel like that's what this person was. Um, their mission was completed here on Earth. I feel like they birthed children that will do great things. And I feel like they, you know, they had very supportive family members and things like that. But something about this person's birth chart is very different, okay? Clarify sadness and isolation. Five of Swords in the reverse. Someone is realizing that outcasting you only outcasted them. Someone is isolated now while you're leading or something. Yeah, the King of Swords. Yeah, see that cold energy? They have their own reasonings and things of that such. Yeah, the Fool card. They didn't like when people... Yeah, that's what it was. They were very, very fixed. They probably had all their placements in a fixed sign. They were very, very fixed. Maybe Aquarius. They're isolated. They're sad, but they're still very stubborn. Okay, with the King of Swords out here, um, they also they were they were smart. They're smart. But something about the truth is here. I feel like um, you isolated this person with. It's like they they attacked you because you were always telling them the truth. Clarify lead. Five of Cups in the reverse, the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. This is the same energy I was getting yesterday of you proving yourself. You didn't prove yourself to this person. You just dropped it. You couldn't help this person, basically, with the Five of Cups in the reverse. It's like you felt sorry for this person, but you're not going to, you, you don't feel sorry for them anymore. Or you stop feeling sorry for them and you drop them. This person is realizing that they're seeing why you did this, okay? They're seeing exactly why you did this. 
you had no remorse. You're like, I'm a leader. I have to lead people. And if you don't want to follow, then you have to stay behind. Okay? If you don't want to follow, you got to be left behind. I feel like that's what this person... This person might not be passed over. But for some of you, it is. Because I was, I was getting, like, energy of a passed over loved one. You were just trying to lead them and they were like, I don't want to be led or this life is over, my life is over. Like, they were just so down in the dumps. You can't be around that. Um, you had to be high vibrational. God isn't real. The devil isn't real. We're just here to die. And everybody, we should all just kill ourselves. And, like, it, this person was very, like, um, uh, fixed in a evil, cold way. Clarify new vitality. Five of Wands. Why the Five of Wands with new vitality? So, yeah, I feel like this person was always, like, uh, attacking you because you had new energy. Or you were always renewing your energy or, like, you didn't stay in their mindset. It's like they had, like, a everybody has to do what they say or say, you know what I mean? Like, what is this? Yeah, the Seven of Swords, sabotaging energy. They were trying to sabotage you or something, see? The person they were sabotaging is the person that they need because you're a leader now. This person always sensed that you were a very spiritual person. Oops. Yeah, the death card in the reverse. They were trying to end you before they got ended. I feel like also this person set an example for their friends and family members too. They set a bad example or something. Someone is always trying to take your guys' energy and sneak off with it. Your creativity and things of that such. Clarify, take the lead. Take the lead. We have the three of swords out here with the nine of swords in their verse. This person is hurt because you wanted to become a leader. That's what this is. That's exactly what this is. I feel like you guys could be the king of swords. I feel like you, I feel like this, this person is very smart, very intelligent, but they don't like the fact that you're smarter than them, probably because you know you have a purpose or you know that you're supposed to be leading or this is a lot of air energy here. So it's like battle of the wits or this is the type of person to argue with you about if the Bible is real or not, or they will argue with you about like. It's just because this person wanted to be stuck in, in some sort of, like, a uh, trap. This person may have been ahead of their time, too, but it was it was different. It, it was a different type of energy. Like, they, they knew that they were ahead of their own time, but they held themselves back in their head a lot. They beat themselves up, sabotaging, chaos, conflict, seven of swords with the five of wands. Um, stealing people's energies, okay? They have the three of swords out here with the nine of swords in reverse. Yeah, they feel betrayed or they feel hurt because you don't really care to be in that nightmarish energy like them. You're like, I'm just going to take the lead and get on up out of here. We have coming together here. Why is this here? I feel like this person could be reaching out to you. We have the nine of pentacles out here with the ten of wands. And judgment. This person is realizing like, um, yeah, with the Queen of Wands, this person is realizing that they admire your confidence. It's like there's something that you have that this person does not have. You're very independent. You don't need anybody with the Nine of Pentacles out here. Meanwhile, they were burdened. They want to come together with you or they, they sort of like, um, they're burdened because your energy is, is showing that they... They were wrong. Yeah, Ace of Swords in Reverse. They were wrong. Judgment here. They were wrong. I'm hearing something burdens them every day or beats them up every day. That something here. Clarify the Nine of... Why the Nine of Wands? Or the Ten of Wands? The Page of Cups. See what I mean? They want to apologize. They're like, okay, I see what you mean now. I get it. The problem is, for some of you, this person may have already passed away. But they pop up to you in your dreams, or they pop up, or they um, they speak to you through music, or they admire the music that you listen to with that page of cups there. They admire something about you now. You're very admirable. But they were just, I don't feel like this person hated you or nothing. I'm not getting that. But they had hate in their heart, or they had hate 
following them or something about hate is here, but I don't think that they hated you. That's what I'm getting here. This is a different reading than the last one I did. Clarify base chakra. But I was tapping into the energy of um, a death. Like their, their life was very meaningful to you, even though it wasn't meaningful to them. Like someone out here hated their life. We had the star in the reverse. So they want everyone else to hate their life. Yeah, we have the High Priestess out here with the Queen of Wands in the reverse. So I feel like someone here, okay, they were doing something behind the scenes. Someone here was like doing energy harvesting or doing like work. Someone was really jealous of your gifts. Um, insecurity is here. They were jealous of what you knew. They were jealous that you were tapped in. A lot of Pisces energy is coming out now, but more Aquarius than anything. Something about you guys being ahead of your time. Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, yeah. Clarify Blossom. So it's giving me like concrete rose energy. You guys were the rose, the rose that grew from concrete or something. This person had like this, like um, not a poverty mindset, but a chaos mindset. It's like they, they thrived off of chaos or something like that. Thank you. Thank you. Clarify Blossom. You're very intuitive. They were kind of jealous of your gifts or someone out here is jealous of your gifts. Someone here is not authentic. They don't know themselves. We have the nine of cups out here. Yeah, you guys get your wishes fulfilled. Or you guys are very content or you guys are getting things. They see that they should have listened. Nine of cups. Yeah, the eight of swords. They should have listened with the eight of swords out here. It's like they were afraid to blossom. So you guys broke up or you guys stopped being around each other or something. Clarify healing begins is the outcome. Yeah, wow. We have the Empress in the reverse that wanted to come out with justice in the reverse. They may have chose a different partner. Yeah, they may have. Yep, the Emperor. They may have chose a different partner and they're realizing now that they can't even reach out to that person spiritually. I'm feeling like this uh, partner is trying to reach out to them spiritually, but they, they're not responding back. Yeah, if it's not spiritually, it could be like physically with the text and all that stuff, but they're not responding back to this person because they're not spiritual or they're not gifted enough to even understand them. You understood this person better than their person that's with them is what I'm getting here. Clarify healing begins. Clarify healing begins. So I'm hearing that if this person passed on, they're, they're still wandering around trying to heal. Because you know you don't really die when you die. We have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. And the Knight of Pentacles. See what I mean? It's like they're slowly but surely trying to bring justice or make things right. I'm getting spirit. I'm getting like spiritual realm. I, I was getting like something about a passed over loved one or something. They're trying to still... Because you know how they say when you pass over, you're stuck in limbo sometimes. You have to complete a lesson until you're able to go to heaven. Or I feel like that's what this person is doing. This person is stuck in limbo, trying to reach out to you, trying to give you your flowers now. I feel like they listen to you now. Yeah, the Queen of Cups, they listen to you now because you're very intuitive. It's like you're guiding this person. It's like you're leading this person intuitively or mediumship kind of. This person is dealing with their karma of not giving when they're supposed to be giving this lifetime. You know what I mean? Like this person probably lived a life not being greedy, but being very cold and not giving. So now they're reaping karma or things aren't turning in their favor right now. So now they're trying to make things right. They may want to give you something. Three of Pentacles with the Seven of Pentacles. If this person passed on, this person might do things like pair you up with good people that they know. I, I get that a lot. Like whenever someone passes, um, sometimes I'll run into someone that they know, not even knowing the person, but it's like the person that passed over put us together for a reason. Like the lady that flat irons my hair knows my stepdad that passed away. Like how, like what kind of coincidence is that? So he put us together so that we, like she's a really good friend too and I still do readings for her and like she still does my hair. It's like, it was like, um, my passed over stepdad put us together because he knew that we would be great friends together. So this person is, this person tried to isolate you maybe uh, while they're here on earth. So when they passed away, they're like, okay, I got to make sure this person has friends. I got to make sure this person, 
Because this person maybe knew great people when they were here, even though they were cold. But they're saying, I, I got to pair this person up with great people like them. Because it, it was my fault that this person wasn't able to shine the way that they were supposed to shine. Or it was my fault that this person wasn't popular. Maybe I was like speaking bad on them. We have anxiety, can't sleep, attacking chakras. So someone's chakras are being attacked. If you are having... Okay, maybe this person isn't passed over for some of you. So just take that lightly, that part lightly. I was just getting a download of that. But someone here, rebirth, reset, transform. They're trying to transform something. You are ready. Someone is having anxiety because they sent someone to attack your chakras or they were attacking you the whole time. Now they want to clear that up. They don't want to do that anymore. Yeah, return to sender. You were always ready for something. You were always ready for a good relationship. Someone here maybe had a possessive ex. Cameron. What? What? Someone always had a, maybe had a possessive ex that doesn't belong here. See what I mean? Yeah. They don't want to reach out to that person. They want to reach out to you. They know that you have all the answers. Okay. So we have asked the right questions. Astro travel, watch your dreams, see? This person knows that you you have the right answers. So watch your dreams, they're probably trying to speak to you. Childhood trauma, new job and promotion out here. This person had childhood trauma. They had some sort of disease in the body or physical health going on with them that keeps coming out. Uh, Capricorn. Lack of guidance, see? They didn't have anyone guiding them. I'm hearing like their parents, something about their father was just not there, so they acted the way that their father acted or something. Let me get a few more, then I'll close this out. Thank you guys for tuning in. Star, famous. We have star, famous, you have star quality out here, solar plexus chakra, and this secret may hurt you. Toxicity, addictions, and devil's energy. So this person was always hiding secrets from you too. Um, but I feel like they want to change that. Something about a karmic brother here. It could be a karmic brother. Protect your money, okay? Maybe they, I don't know, maybe they had secrets that had nothing to do with you, but... They definitely were always trying to um, attack you or something, but they want to stop that. All right, guys, this is your reading. Hope this resonated with you. If it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. See you next time. Bye.